Good morning. Hope you are doing excellent today and you have an excellent, empowering, productive, exciting day. One of my heroes is Mother Jones. What would Mother Jones think of someone like Anita Sarkeesian? Well, of course, it's hard to say. We can only speculate because they don't live at the same time periods in history. So we can only base it off of what they said and what they did and how they viewed others. In case you don't know who Mother Jones is, she was a labor agitator of the 19th century. She was an old grandma who made the bosses of the day tremble. She helped the most marginalized workers get empowered, such as coal miners and garment workers. Interestingly, she was actually a critic of feminism of her day. Even the feminism that said we need to give women the vote. Interesting, isn't it? Why would she be opposed to empowering women? Now, some people say first and second wave feminism were okay, but third wave feminism is nuts. Now, she, in, she was against the feminism of her day, which was, from what I understand, to be first wave feminism. Wikipedia said first wave feminism is to get the vote. Mother Jones famously said, you don't need a vote to raise hell. And she proved it. She didn't have suffrage, but she still made an impact on the world. Of course, I'm not arguing that we shouldn't have suffrage, but it just goes to show. Wikipedia also said second wave feminism is largely about getting women empowerment in the workplace. Mother Jones also criticized that. She said the woman belongs in a home. Interesting, isn't it? She wasn't this religious man trying to take women's rights away from them. I'm, again, I'm not suggesting that women don't belong out of the workplace. Of course, women are capable of doing pretty much any job men, men can do, if not every job. Interesting, and this perhaps is the most interesting place of analysis because she criticized these rich women who wanted a career because they were thinking of a career like, I would get to go to a university. And that's the type of stuff people like Arnita, Anita Sarkeesian are doing. Mother Jones saw how awful a career was to these women who were working in sweatshops, who were working 14 hour days in sweatshops. Thankfully, largely because of the work of labor, that stuff has ended in the U.S. at least, thankfully. She saw the labor movement as helping women not have to work so much. She didn't see a career, a career as a glamorous thing where you get to criticize video games, but as a terrible thing that may wrecked families. So it's interesting to consider that. Again, of course, I'm not suggesting that first and second wave feminism were entirely wrong, but... It just goes to show. Maybe people do have a point when they criticize Anita Sarkeesian for focusing on petty things. Maybe she would be considered bourgeois by Mother Jones, who fought for the workers. Because after all, isn't she a leader of a nonprofit organization? And would that make her bourgeois? And doesn't that mean she owns the means of production? Hmm. Something to think about. So ask yourself on this fine day. What would Mother Jones think of Anita Sarkeesian?